New high score, 296. Okay, welcome back to APTV, guys. It stands for Antler Pursuit TV. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Wyatt. Uh, but we're, again, at Extreme Archery Supply. I'm here with my buddy Dyson. He's right behind the camera. But we're going to go through our, our bows and our setups and what makes our bow our favorite or what makes us want to shoot our bow. Another big thing that people always ask is, who makes the best bow? Or who has the best bow, or what bow should I get? But it comes down to this, whatever bow you want. That's, that's what it comes down to. Whatever bow fits you best, whatever bow you can afford, whatever bow that you just love. I fell in love with this bow right here. It's called a Hoyt, I know, Hoyt Carbon Spider ZT Turbo. If you guys don't know much about the turbo, it's a very, very fast bow kind of expensive but it's a very 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 fast bow and for people that can't afford a bow such as this what I do recommend you doing is going on online let go is an app also Amazon, not Amazon. Um, Craigslist is another app that people sell their bows that are super cheap pretty much when you buy an expensive bow let's say you buy an expensive bow use it and you don't like it anymore people put them on on Craigslist and stuff because they don't want them anymore for dirt cheap this is only a couple hundred bucks for myself. And this is like a $1,500 bow, brand new. Again, it's a couple years old, but brand new. This is an expensive bow. And it's my dream bow. It's something I would love to get and I wanted to get for so long. It just so happens that I was able to. Now my sight here is an Optimizer Light. You guys can read that? HHJ is the brand. Yeah, single pin right here. It's nothing too complicated, but I do like a single pin because on instances where there's a white tail at 50 yards or 52 yards, I would be able to make sure that I can hit or not even per se white tail. That's a, that's a far shot for me, but a specific distance, a single pin helps me out a lot and also helps me out with target practicing in the backyard when you don't have a lot of fluctuating distances or you do have a lot of fluctuating in distances, that single pin sight really helps you out. Um, my stabilizer and <laughs> a dead center stabilizer. So this is a dead center stabilizer, 10 inches with about four ounces of weight in the front. And there's four of these rings, I guess an ounce per ring. Mm -hmm. But um, like I said, this is Carbon Spider ZT Turbo, phenomenal bow. If you guys can afford it, I would recommend it. But um, I killed two deer with it the first year I got it. Both hard shots, died one died on <laughs> soon as I shot it, it died right there. Second one ran about 75 yards and then collapsed. Tremendous amount of blood, tremendous amount of power. These arrows stick into the target like you not believe with this bow, but, and it hits kill. That's the deal. But Dyson's gonna go ahead and redo, uh, Dyson's gonna go ahead and review the bows that he loves and the bows that he shoots. Until next time, guys. Enjoy. All right, guys. I am gonna show you what I shoot, what helps me shoot the best to my ability. Um, I've been working here for about three months now, three and a half maybe, but before I started working here, I found a sweet deal on this Prime Defy, brand new bow, I got it for $400, bare bow, um, and I got it and I, I still like the way it shoots today. Um, it's a great bow, I just, I was looking to upgrade to a 2019 this year, and I'll get more in depth with that, um, later, but for my sight, I shoot the Spot Hog Fast City XL double pin. So if you look at the fibers, it's one single post with two different fibers on the post. That kind of gives me the versatility of if I'm shooting a league with Wyatt, I can move the top pin to the exact distance. Or if a deer comes out of 30 yards, I don't have to take the time to do my slider. Um, Describe what a slider is real quick. So the slider is gonna be this right here. I loosen this. And I can roll it, and actually this spot hog gives me the chance to shoot out to 100 yards. Right there, I'm on 100 yards right there. That's an awesome statement. Um, 
the stabilizers I shoot is going to be the Trophy Ridge Hitman stabilizers. It's going to be the kit. I shoot 10 inch on the front, 8 inch on the back. Very cool, man. Very, very, very cool. They give a great, um, it's really good with customization. You, It comes with, I think, six different colors to put in here. I put blue in to match the strings for the prime. Uh, I shoot one ounce on the front, eight ounces on the back. Um, that's what balanced my bow the best for me. And then finally for my rest, I shoot the QAD HDX. A lot of people shoot it. I shoot it. I love it. I don't think I'll ever switch rest. And that's my current bow that I'm shooting. So let's go ahead and step up to the new bow. So this a boy's gonna get. is a 2019 Matthew Traverse. And this one is not mine. This is one that's in stock at the shop. You guys can come pick yours up. We sell them here. And shop is Extreme, Extreme Archery. Archery. There you go. Um, this is actually the bow that I ordered. I was able to go on Matthew's website and customize it to what I want. And I got full um, subalpine limbs and riser. Um, you can look. You can look it up online if you're gonna want to see the color. And I got tan and buckskin strings. And hopefully, this bow is gonna be here within a week. And when I shoot at the outdoorsman show in my class for competition, hopefully I'll have this bow too. And I'm gonna take everything off that bow. I'm gonna put it on my Nutraverse, except for the stabilizers. Yeah. I'm gonna have now, Dyson. Who do you standards. think makes the best bow, Matthews or Hoyt? The biggest if I'm names go in the archery. Off my opinion, I'm gonna give a couple that are good, and then I'm gonna explain why why the one's my favorite. So, a couple brands you like, Mar? Um, one of my fa uh, favorites is gonna be Elite. They're really smooth, especially with their new Ritual 30, which is actually they're kind of they're sitting right there on the rack. They're a great bow. They're kind of a pain to work on. The If you're gonna switch the draw length, it takes a while and a little hard to tune, but they're really smooth shooting bow. Another brand that is really good that I recommend is PSE. They have a 90% let off option. That's insane, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's only like 60, it feels th like. That's what my brother shoots. He's, my brother's sponsored by, Dalton is sponsored by Matthews as a, a shop shooter. Shooting an Evoke uh, PSE, um, Evoke and he has it on 90% let off and I got to shoot it and you cannot let that bow down have fun trying to let it down but that's a really good bow Matthews is a really good bow Matthews is really it's I'm gonna get straight forward here Matthews is my favorite brand what they're doing with their technology especially in the verdicts is insane to me I, I don't know how they can make the peak weight peak weight run through the modules but Matthews is going to be my favorite brand. Those are really the three that I really like and would spend my money on. The only reason Hoyt's not in there is just because their RX3 that came out this year was $1,600. That's bow. the point, and that's exactly the point I've been trying to tell you guys. So when it comes down to the bow that you want to purchase, make sure it's something you can afford, something that you enjoy shooting, something that's not too expensive for you to shoot, such as fixing it if something breaks, as such as affordability for the cams, or even for the the accessories that go on it, such as the sight, such as the stabilizer, the rest, all those things are extra costs for what your bow. So Dyson is a, is the channel owner of Pennsylvania Outdoorsman, also Instagram Pennsylvania Outdoorsman. My Instagram is Antler Pursuit TV, as well as Instagram is right down below Antler Pursuit TV. But after this, guys, we're gonna go ahead and shoot at Extreme Archery, the fourth week of Winter League. Enjoy. The fourth week. Fourth week. Fourth week. <laughs> That's right. Enjoy, folks. Enjoy.